250 artists putting together 80 public art installations right through the city and pulling it all off with the help of 600 volunteers. Nuit Blanche swept through the streets of Toronto to start off the weekend. It's an annual event that takes about a year to plan and involves art and locations in Etobicoke, Scarborough and downtown Toronto. And we had a chance to catch up with some of the people in various locations throughout the city to see how they managed to pull it off this year. It's such a special event. It's so unique. It transforms Toronto in such a beautiful, magical way. It's a year-long, longer-than-year-long planning cycle, and it really culminates in this big push on the day of. So getting everything into place requires all of our artists, our curators, our amazing team of staff, and our exceptional team of volunteers. How's the setup going? It's going really well. I mean, uh, we've been really busy since we got here, but it's looking really good. I'm excited for it to start tonight. The piece is called Circle of Inquiry for a Dish with One Spoon. And it consists of a large, I think it's about 25 feet in diameter, maybe a little bit over that, um, a large um, circular form. It's like a ring. Bonnie Devine is one of the installation artists who's having work showcased this year. Her piece made from the leaves of an invasive plant collected just this Wednesday and braided together. She says she hopes those viewing it will find the message powerful. It's tremendously exciting to be given an opportunity to exercise my right to speak my opinion and um, put some contribution toward a um, um, a pressing social need. Uh, this has got to be like the final, the final quiet before the storm for you. Not so quiet. Lots of uh, emails, text messages, last minute requests. Are you excited? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, for sure. This has been a huge amount of work by a large number of people. And when I told you the streets of Toronto were alive with the sight of art everywhere you look, I wasn't kidding. This is an entirely separate event called the Nui Nui Night Market happening in Bloor Court. It's not affiliated with Nui Blanche, but definitely part of the artsy vibes kicking off the weekend. On Bloor, David Zura, City News.